Greetings, noble viewer, the Good Sir Knights here, and today we're doing a bit of an odd review. It was something I actually didn't intend to order off of eBay, but as you may know from, well, clicking on the video, we have Imring or Philby 3 Day Assault Pack. So, I was interested. I was looking at prices, I didn't mean to actually order it on eBay. I actually initially tried to cancel the order, full transparency, because when the order was coming in, from what I remember, being in from 2008 to 2013, was the Gen 2 Ilby packs. And the Ilby Assault Pack, or Ilby 3 Day Pack, was kind of garbage, as <laughs> many of you may know. It was tiny, it didn't hold, well I mean, didn't hold all the equipment you needed to fit in there. It's tactical Tetris, you had to make it work, and the pack just kind of sucked in general. But, I don't know, maybe some people liked it, I absolutely did not. A lot of the people I know didn't know I bought my uh, Sandpiper of California bug out bag as a kind of an everyday use bag just because that other one was so tiny and, well, just kind of garbage. So. Didn't really care for it. Interesting design, but too too small. Too tiny. So, this ended up showing up, and initially I was like, ah oh, man, I don't know, I don't want this bag, but that's because I'm used to issued gear just being trash. And this one, contrary to what you may believe, is actually pretty fantastic. Now, I've already done a few modifications to it. I don't have the assault pouch that usually goes up here, so there's an admin pouch in the meantime. So do bear with me, and we'll go over a few things here. So what's really interesting, there's some very unique design choices here. Mostly the uh, water-resistant zippers. Could call something about amphibious maritime operations. I don't know. Um, you've got these Velcro cinched routing ports for hydration or comms or anything you might have in the bag. And really it's just loaded with uh, things. Now this is one of those surplus issued bags, so not all the Velcro lockdowns are attached. However, I have very, very clever ways to solve that in the near future. So it's really interesting. The first thing I wasn't expecting is the bag is not completely symmetrical. On this side, the right side from the back, it's all Molly. Oops, all Molly. <laughs> all pals. All, yeah. Molly is your pal. So there's a lot of that on that side. But on the other side, contrary to popular belief, the zipper extends quite far down and I've covered it in <laughs> flashbang pouches. Now I would actually probably not recommend doing that as I don't own a flashbang, let alone several flashbangs to necessitate the need of several flashbang pouches. But I honestly had nowhere else to put them in the meantime. And I was like, hey, each one of these is two pals, single road each to make room for the zipper. What better thing to fit there? Oh, and you got some more down here with the compression straps. So you got four compression straps. Those are used for mounting this to the main bag as well. But we're not doing that. There's a... I've got it tucked away in here. We've got a hip belt. If you so decide to choose to use a hip belt. Generally, didn't need it on the Ilby. However, the new Philby pack. You can actually fit a lot of stuff in here, so it's pretty useful. If you're wondering what's actually inside here, it's a bunch of stuff I'm also not using. So this is kind of turned into the joke bag, but I filled it up mostly because I wanted it to be full for the video. So there you go. So what do we got outside of that? Um, the straps are pretty clever. They've got the uh, Pals Molly on these as well, which is kind of an old school design choice. I really like that. They do have the uh, Spiritus chest rig if you choose to use the straps there. You got your chest compression straps. I'm actually, this is honestly really well made. So these things, these things look obnoxious, but that's in case these buckles and stuff break, you have something to still route it through and still have a usable pack without the ability to quick detach because this upper portion ain't going nowhere. So yeah, interesting, interesting, interesting. They've also got just an insane amount of padding on these uh, back portions here, so that's also really, really cool. So what do we got going on over here? Well, without the assault pack, we go straight down to uh, this portion. You got a bunch of more molly down here. And I've got two um, smoke grenade pouches here, which might seem like an odd choice, because again, I don't own smoke grenades. But the reason being is these will perfectly hold a can of Ribbit or a LaCroix, depending on your preference, or I guess 
requirement for caffeine. But yeah, those are there. You got the Velcro here, so you put name tags or anything there. So your pack doesn't get stolen or yanked or anything. Oops, that comes right off. <laughs> but no, that's so people can still identify you. I don't have any of my real name on here because, um... Social media stalking is the thing. I don't want it, so... Let's open up this pack down here. As you can see, we got a decent little pouch going on, some storage space, and there's a mesh bag. I wasn't expecting mesh in a, any actual issued gear, ever. It's a brilliant design, which is why I figured we'd go with the lowest bidder, but apparently... Who makes this Eagle, right? This is an Eagle bag? Yeah, Eagle Industries. Eagle Industries stepping it up. These are Eagle pouches too, but these ones have a lot more glean and shine than their newer stuff, so... Cool bag! Good job, Eagle! <laughs> uh, you guys are generally like known as like the issued gear making guys, so no one really... No offense. There was like, uh, Eagle pouches. Not S-Tac, but lo and behold. Eagle making good stuff. So, over here you pop open the cinch buckle. There you go. Pull open this waterproof and zipper here. And there's a whole bunch of the junk I was telling you about just hanging out in there. Taking up space, you got your padded insert panel back here. And that gives you your stiffness. The bag, you got the zipper here for getting that in and out. Up on this side, you've got a tiny top portion only zipper mesh bag for other small items. And yeah, don't, don't mind any of the stuff on the inside. Also, interestingly enough, if you dig through all this trash here, on the side of this molly, there's another small... Uh, how, how big is that? That's about the size of my fist. All the way through, a nice little like, bottle-shaped Velcro pouch, so if you want to fit anything in there. Of course, opening all the ways down to the side means you can get stuff from the bottom pretty easily. And things farther back, uh, back into the uh, right over here with the molly will be generally unaccessible or require a bit more effort. In addition, you've also got a sort of secondary bag with a cinch. Yeah, you got a little cinch for that over here. And that's for, um, well, radio pouches. You could do hydration, but it does seem like it'd be a pain as there's nothing to uh, keep the hydro bladder from sinking in and getting all problematic. So probably better for radio or any other gear you need to s separate and segregate from the rest of the stuff in the pack. But yeah, ultimately I do like it quite a bit. So that covers the basics, the uh, salt pack or salt pouch. That would generally... Oh, I'm bleeding again. Nice! Generally, the salt pouch that would go up here, you could use that for wet weather stuff. I mean, Okinawa is known for raining a whole lot, so... Now, how does the pack feel? Well, it's actually pretty comfy. Which, again, is mostly due to that insane amount of padding. But, uh, yeah, they've actually got mesh liners and stuff. This wasn't standard. It used to be just really thin, sharp straps. Would dig into your shoulders. So I remember, what was on the LV? It's been a while. 2012 was a while ago, so it was 2013. Yeah, it's uh, it's been a hot minute, hasn't it? So um, yeah. So the packs definitely, definitely improved. Like, good heavens, it makes me want to make a bunch of old core versus new core jokes, which is wildly inappropriate. So we're not gonna do that. So yeah, as you can see here, we've got. <laughs> I'm sorry, those flashbang pouches. What, what, what would fit in there outside of a flashbang? I mean, I actually kept a bunch of rubber balls in one, and the other one was full of balloons when I had them mounted on my plate carrier, but, you know, smart decisions. Oh, I put this, this doesn't even need to be up here, this is just here for the hell of it. It's always good to have a multi tool on you. Unless, I'd probably brought a radio. Yeah, you could put a little radio through there, probably mount something on the belt. But yeah, so you got a cool little pack. If it's really comfy, those uh, pads do a huge job of keeping the weight off of your spine and off towards these sides. Where it's better spent, anyway. Ooh, you see that? That loose, unsecured tab? Yeah, that's going to drive me insane. And yeah, so it's a comfy pack. Fits really well. Not a whole lot of bouncing. You can probably mitigate more of that with the uh, belt attachment. The belt's really simple, it's just a little clip. And you've got even more of these Velcro mounts on there, so... That's pretty much the whole pack. That's really everything there is to know, so... I do intend to get a hold of the remaining Philby stuff, because I was just so impressed with this little assault bag, so... We'll probably have an entire series here in the near future, but yeah. 
Cool pack. Oh yeah, I almost, almost completely forgot because this is entirely new to me. They got little straps down here and even more pals. You know, a little handle grip here. Well, the grommet cover technically, but I mean, it works. If you want to hold your bag upside down. Yeah, drainage grommets, pretty standard. Good, good stuff. So what do you want to mount down here? Um, honestly, no idea. I saw one guy carrying around his uh, isomat stuff. Without a sleeping bag, I mean, you could do it. You can also mount like an extra little pouch. Oh, I do have an extra pouch that would fit down there too. I might have something for this, just to give it a bit more storage and cool stuff. So, that's that's the bag, everyone. Bagman. So yeah, cool little bag. Where's your handle? Radio pouches. And yeah, once we get an assault bag or pouch, we'll really have this thing rocking. So if you got any questions for me or you want to know anything about this bag, if you're either like entirely new to the Marine Corps or you're just one of those people who's really, really interested into it and wants to know more about this stuff, then uh, yeah, just let me know. I'll answer your questions to the best of my ability. This is not the pack I was issued, so my knowledge of its immediate use might not be up to date with everyone else, but I can put a few, I can usually put two and two together and think of some uh, interesting things you could use this for. So, without further ado, cheers everyone, and I'll see you in the next video. Farewell.